The U.S. House of Representatives has launched an impeachment inquiry into the President of the United States. Let that settle in for a minute. Democrats think they had no choice, but they worry over what voters might think. And the GOP is figuring things out while raising just a little bit of cash. I'm Jamal Simmons, and this is the Impeachment Inquiry Aftermath, and why you should care. Yesterday, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced a formal impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. Democrats have cited several reasons to remove the president, but it seems the whistleblower report that the president may have tried to trade U.S. aid for a politically motivated investigation into former Vice President Joe Biden was the straw that broke the camel's back. But how does impeachment work? The House of Representatives has the power to impeach, and it requires a majority vote of 218 members. At least 200 House Democrats are now backing an impeachment inquiry. Pelosi stated there are six congressional committees investigating prospective instances of abuse of power by President Trump. Based on what they find, the Judiciary Committee will mark up articles of impeachment against the president, and a vote will go to the House floor. If there's a majority vote in the House, the Senate then holds an impeachment trial. All U.S. Senators are the jury, and the Chief Justice of the United States, John Roberts, is the presiding officer. It takes two-thirds of the Senate, or 67 votes, to convict the president and thus remove him from office. President Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton were both impeached, but no president has ever been convicted by the Senate and removed. President Nixon resigned before he could even be impeached. Now, what exactly could President Donald Trump be impeached for? Democrats charge a wide variety of presidential misconduct, but the Constitution lays down a few specifics and a couple of general reasons. The president must be convicted of treason, bribery, or other high crimes or misdemeanors. Why should you care? Although Donald Trump never got a majority of votes, he did win an electoral college victory. Overturning that process is serious business, and we've never had a president stand for election after the threat of impeachment. We're all in uncharted territory now. Are you interested in what Democrats think about House Speaker Nancy Pelosi launching an impeachment inquiry? Well, find a Democrat and you might find a different answer. Over 200 members of Congress have come out in favor of Pelosi's move to launch an impeachment inquiry. That includes many members from the more moderate freshman majority makers. In fact, many people believe what tipped the balance for Pelosi to actually frame the Democrats' investigations of Trump under the banner of impeachment was the Washington Post op-ed letter written by seven freshman members with national security backgrounds. That's Washington. On the campaign trail, things are a little bit more mixed. Senator Elizabeth Warren and former Housing and Urban Development Secretary Julian Castro were the first presidential candidates to support an impeachment process. Since then, almost every other candidate for president has joined the chorus, but Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard is going in a different direction. On Fox News on Tuesday, she's maintained her position that impeachment is still terribly divisive for this country. Politico has a story about Democratic campaign strategists and operatives around the country who worry about impeachment taking over the narrative and driving the presidential contest in unhelpful ways. I've talked to Democrats in the last 24 hours who advise organizations and candidates. They aren't as negative, but they worry about the messaging. What are Democrats going after? How would they frame this conversation? President Trump is an exceptionally able communicator, and so far his allies are sticking by him. These Democrats worry that four reasons to impeach Trump will only muddy the water. If Democrats have any luck convincing the public, it rests on the party focusing on one central offense and driving that point home. Republicans jumped to President Trump's defense after Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced she would lead House Democrats in launching an impeachment process. They have been investigating this president before he even got elected. They have voted three times on impeachment on this floor. Our job is to legislate not to continue to investigate something in the back when you cannot find any reason to impeach this president. The move to impeach came after reports were published of a whistleblower complaint about a phone call President Trump held with Ukrainian President Zelensky. Republicans are definitely not co-signing any impeachment process, but they did join Democrats in urging the president to release the transcript and the whistleblower complaint to the intelligence committees. That transcript was released this morning. Why you should care? 
The bipartisan effort is unusual, but not necessarily indicative of any openness by Republicans. Also, we know Republicans are using this opportunity to rake in some cash. In less than 24 hours after Speaker Pelosi's formal announcement, email, texts, and phone calls seeking donations were blasted out to Trump's arsenal of supporters. According to reports, Republicans raised a million dollars by 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Furthermore, Republicans are hoping to cash in on the anger that loyal Trump supporters feel about the investigations that Democrats have launched against him in the past, most notably the Mueller investigation. Thanks for watching Hill TV on YouTube. Be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we post new videos and head to thehill.com for all the latest political news.